Hey everybody, so for today's look, I'm going to do more of a grungy kind of look. Um, I wanted the Conspiracy palette, and the first thing that I saw on there was, of course, the black and like the uh, burgundy shade. And I was like, what if somebody did a smoky eye with the burgundy and the black shade? So, of course, I wasn't able to purchase the Conspiracy palette, but thank God it's permanent. So, I'll be purchasing it like in March, whenever it comes back out. So, um, I thought that I would recreate the look that I was thinking about with some of the palettes that I already have. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Also, please just ignore all the glitter on my face. I just filmed another video, so just ignore that. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so I don't really have too many burgundy colors that I can, like, really recall. So, but I do love this color Gaston that's in the Disney masquerade palette so where is it this color right here little focus there we go so I think I'm gonna use that color and I do have some focus I do I'm gonna use that color I'm gonna use that color and I do have some black eyeshadows but I think as a base I'm gonna put down my uh, gel liner and then maybe put a black um, eyeshadow over it so we'll, we'll just kind of play it by ear and see how it goes so let's go on ahead with this video this is just the Maybelline Eye Studio in Black is Black and it's just in a little pot that's obviously been very used <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a flat brush if I can find one that's clean I may have to clean this for a second. Yeah, let me clean this off real quick. Right here. I'm just going to put this on the lid. I'm not going to put it in the crease. Ooh, it's sticky. But dang at that pigment, though. Well, I was going to say you don't have to worry about fallout, but what the... Ah, I got some on my finger. Oh, boy. Nothing can never go right for me. Okay. I know it looks a mess, okay? But we're going we're gonna to work with it. We're going to get this cleaned up, and we're going to get it shaped and blended out. So don't worry y'all's pretty little heads off. We're just going to go around these edges. Why are you doing this? Why are you like that? Okay. I've never really... Blech, I cannot talk this morning. I've never really been one of those people that I do my darkest colors to lightest. But I've seen it, and it does work. I guess it just really depends on, you know how you like to do your eyeshadows and stuff so it looks like I missed a spot right here on my lid so um we're gonna go in with this Gaston shade that I showed you earlier I'm actually gonna use wherever it's at my Sigma brush this poor brush is dirty we're just gonna use a blending brush like this so I kind of have more control uh, of where I put the color at so we're just gonna dip into that burgundy maroon color and see how that goes and just put it in the crease above this black right here just blend it in right here you can always build it up so don't try to start with too much product on there there we go I hadn't done black eyeshadow in a while I done got to where I was doing like just colorful looks and everything. It's kind of a good change. I actually like that. Okay. Now I'm going to dip into the Alien palette and use the black in there. It's called Black Hole. It's this one right here at the bottom. gonna use that and see how that goes. 
I'm gonna use this packing brush, whatever the hell brush this is. This is a Morphe brush. It don't have what number it is. Focus. Thank you. Ugh. Ooh. This. Gotta tap off that brush. All right, we're just gonna put this over the eyeliner so it don't really like. Um, so it don't crease or nothing. Kind of like when you put um, powder over your foundation. That's basically the concept. I'm gonna go back in with that Gaston shade. And go under the waterline. And it's gonna look stupid. I need to use another brush because that one, crap. That one's got, um, uh-oh. Cause that one's got that other color that I just used and it's like a bright red. Crap. All right, let's try this. Got it. Fallout. Not as dark as I wanted it to be because my stupid self used the wrong freaking brush. I should have known better than to do that. Let me get a little bit more of that. Connect it to this. There we go. All right, and just make sure this is blended still. I'm just gonna put a little bit of a highlight, not much. God, if I <sighs> quit dropping stuff, maybe. I don't know, I bet that would look really pretty on top of the black. This is the finished look. What do we think? <laughs> of course, I'll put a picture of it at the end of the video. But if you like this video and you want more, just subscribe, comment, like, and let me know. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Get that back on there without messing everything up. Why, why do you do this? I don't understand. Like, I literally just put some on my lid and like, look, what is this? Why? I hear it thundering outside. God, I just had a crisis, like the camera fell and it acted like it didn't wanna show anything on there again. So, <laughs> like, damn sis, I know I look rough, but shit, you didn't have to do that.